good afternoon folks big Bo with rv's big Bo at parkway rv center and got another fifth wheel today guys a uh, this today we're going to look at a 2014 montana high country this is the model 343 rl and this is a four slide uh fifth wheel it's 37 feet four inches long uh, it, the high country, for those of you who don't know, is the lighter weight version of the Keystone Montana. Uh, it's got the helium technology allowing it to be about 2,400 pounds in a comparable regular Montana. Still has the Montana's R38 Four Seasons capability. Still has a lot of the amenities, just a little bit lighter weight. A little bit lower price, too, than a Montana. This one, uh, dry weight's 10,600 pounds. Very lightweight for a quad slide 37 foot fifth wheel. Still got the level up system so you can level it up with a push of a button. Uh, still got the two airs, the four seasons insulation, got the more ride suspension and the more ride max turn technology hitch uh, for $36,900. A lot of fifth wheel for that kind of money. Let's look around it guys. Of course it does have the HD max with a full body paint front cap, fiberglass cap. Uh, your more ride hitch has the shock absorbers built in or the rubber or the rubber bushings built in to help absorb the impact uh, when you hit a bump or a railroad track, something like that with your truck. It doesn't rattle your teeth as bad. It does have a power awning and the frameless windows double axle so this is something that you could tow with some four-wheel trucks three-quarter ton diesel something like that as long as you're well within your weight capacity hm 343 rl helium technology and looking around it guys i mean i don't see anything that just jumps out at me except for just a little spot of uh the hd max fade on the back you know you probably can't even tell it in the ad or on the pictures in the video but you know you might have to throw a little buffing and waxing on the back if you just wanted to get rid of that hey you can tell right here of course we got to put a lens on it but you can tell right here where it had a tag and where it didn't how it's kind of faded a little bit so wherever this thing was parked at obviously the back end was exposed a little bit Got the EPDM roof. 50 amp electrical service, of course. I'm just running it off my generator, run the lights and everything. Got a 10 gallon DSI gas electric water heater. Tires look good, wheels look good. Really nice condition for a 14 model. Of course, you got your furnace. Does have a fireplace, washer and dryer hookups. That max turn technology, because it, notice how it's kind of curved back here on the front uh, instead of just like a box. This is going to allow you to make sharper turns with a shorter bed truck. Now, are you going to be able to tow this with something with a with a Mickey Mouse bed, like a five foot bed? No, but you know if you've got a six foot, six and a half foot bed, you can do a lot sharper turn without having to worry about crunching your cab of your pickup truck. Got some outside speakers, got the aluminum steps. Let's look inside. And see what you think about the interior. I got it sitting up a little bit right here. Got a nice floor plan, guys. Now the original furniture has been changed. Uh, this obviously being a Thor product. Uh, had that flaking furniture issue like so many of them did during this era so previous owners instead of recovering it just replaced the furniture it looks pretty good i probably would have done a little different color but certainly it's in good it, it's in good shape no reason to change it out of course if you want to buy this thing take this furniture out put your own in that's up to you got a large television got a fireplace 
tall crowned roof. That roof has got five inches thick of insulation from front to back. I mean, these things are very well insulated, especially for a lot, what they call a lightweight fifth wheel. And you got the two chairs here. I guess you have to share a footrest. <laughs> uh, you do have table and chairs. It does have a couple of extra chairs in the front closet. And I don't even know if this is a sleeper sofa. I didn't even look at that. Nope. So you've only got the one bed. So And you can sleep one person on this sofa. So it is a three sleeper. You've got a little computer area, desk area, work area, which if you're going to be full-timing, this is almost essential equipment right here. Place to put your computer, pay your bills. You know, if you do any kind of work at home on a computer, you'll appreciate having a dedicated area for that. Ceiling fan. Um, it does have the ducted roof air the 15,000 ducted roof air and then you've got a 13,500 kicker air in the front bedroom carpet's original it looks great no odors in here table and which you can move this table if you want to face it to a different angle you can that's just how it was so i left it that way you do have solid surface corian countertops that look great big l-shaped kitchen Overhead cabinet, got the nice light fixtures. Fantastic vent fan with thermostat and rain sensor. So if you burn something, you, you can dispose of the evidence a little easier. Big refrigerator and freezer. It is the 12 cubic foot, I believe, 12 or 14 Dometic. Uh, it is the four door and uh, it is the RV refrigerator and freezer with see if i can tell from the model number what size it is let's see it's a 1350 so it's 13 and a half cubic feet so big fridge runs off propane or electric and i've had it on for a little bit yeah it's starting to get cold back here so we're good so it's good you know with this l-shaped kitchen you get a lot of nice food prep area um the countertops are nice should have the slide out pantry right here which is nice microwave whirlpool microwave and i like that metal top three burner stove top like most of them doesn't look like it's been used plus your propane oven clean this unit doesn't have any evidence that's been a live-in unit or a full-time unit. You know, there's not a lot of wear and tear in here, especially for an eight-year-old fifth wheel. Everything looks nice. Got the nice sprayer. It's definitely a nice kitchen, guys. Plus, you get a little additional food prep area. Right here's a good place to put, like, your coffee makers and steamers and appliances like your uh, ninjas and all that good stuff. Air fryers can go right there. Well, actually a lot of storage in this thing so i mean this is a big fifth wheel to only weigh ten thousand six hundred pounds with four slides i mean that's one thing i do like about it somebody's put the wood blinds in it that's just a coat closet look up here here's all your monitor panels uh slide out controls Water heater controls, water pump, uh, light controls, awning, all that good stuff right here. We're going to look onto the bathroom on the side and see what we got here. Corian uh, vanity top, which is always nice. A lot of manufacturers don't do that not a bad size bathroom it's a big tub and shower it's 48 inches long by 30 inches wide so definitely an adult size shower even for somebody my size skylight looks good you do have the china rv toilet so it's not the plastic one vent you've got a little vent fan up here duct working here for your heat and air and it uh, has been winterized we got the shower hose disconnected 
which is something you should do when you do your winterization, even though that's actually, uh, <laughs> I don't think we have to worry much about that anymore. But we still got a couple of cold spells left here in the south. I think we're having one Saturday, so uh, that might get below freezing. But guys, you know, generally, even if it gets below freezing, if it's just one night and it comes up the next day to well above freezing, you're usually okay without winterizing your coach. Now, if it's going to be a couple of days of, of constant freezing weather, yeah, you got worries then. But uh, just because you dip a degree or two below freezing on just a single night, no reason to panic. Do have a Queen Island bed up here. There is your second kicker unit. Now, this is not a ducted unit up here. So, this is strictly to keep the bedroom cool. It's actually pretty nice, especially if you've been outside working in the summertime. You leave this thing on high. And then you come in to take a break. You come in here. Yeah, you, it's going to feel like a freezer. It's going to feel really good. Huge um, closet right here. I do like the... That way, in case you forget what kind of camper you're in. Open this up. You do have a washer and dryer hookups, which does not have one. Which is another sign this has not been a live-in unit. Most people are going to live in these. You're going to put washers and dryers in them, so... That's something you can do if you need to later on. You've actually got a lot of storage in here. There's your two extra chairs. You can actually put one of them right here um, if you want to for this little makeup get ready area. I like the LED lights in here. That's a big old closet. Way bigger than most people need, but hey, you don't have to put clothes in here. You can put other stuff. Foot of the bed. Got some overhead storage, a television, dresser, a little cutty storage over there in the corner. And all this for 10,600 pounds of weight. That's pretty amazing. Tongue weight, I don't know if I told you, but the hitch weight's like 22, 25. So again, this is something that you don't have to have a big six wheel dually to tow. And then, you know, that's funny because most Montanas, you, you really need to, but with the high country, every high country they made in 14 is under 11,000 pounds dry weight. So uh, definitely one you don't have to have a huge truck to tow. Pretty stable too, considering we're, we're just sitting on the wheels. We don't have the jacks down. This 14 Montana High Country 343RL is only 36.9, which is a lot of fifth wheel for that kind of money. It is an R38 Four Seasons model, like all Montanas are. If it's got the Montana name on it, guys, and it's 2001 and newer, it's Four Seasons. And um, of course, you got the heated and closed underbelly, all that good stuff too. If you're interested in this fifth wheel, give us a call at 706-965-7929. Check it out, guys. It's nice. It's clean. Refrigerator's getting cold. Uh, and, of course, keep in mind that 36.9 price, guys, here's what we include. We guarantee the slide outs to work, which they obviously do. We wouldn't have them out. We guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get cold, which I, I felt the freezer getting cold. So, yeah, we're good there. And we guarantee both roof airs to work. And, uh, of course, I can't run that on my little generator. But, uh, you know, let us know before you come. And we'll run shore power to it or a bigger generator to it. And plug it up, turn the airs on for you. Make sure they get cold. And if the airs work, you're good to go, guys. There's no, you just pay for it, take it home with you. If you need delivery, we offer delivery service for $1.50 a loaded mile one way. So if you're going to live in this, set it on some property. You don't want to go spend thirty, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars for a diesel truck, and then put a fifth wheel hitch in it. We can deliver it for a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way. We do not charge for the return trip. So in other words, if you live five hundred miles away, it's seven hundred fifty dollar delivery fee, and and even though we're it's a th it's a thousand mile trip from our driver, we only charge you for the five hundred. And honestly, with with diesel prices and and fuel and everything else, that's uh. Uh, you couldn't get it yourself for that. And we have the trucks, guys. I mean, we got dually trucks. We got, you know, heavy duty, made to tow, um, kind of pickup trucks. You don't have to worry about that and experienced drivers too. 
anyway guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what you think about it feel free to smash me a thumbs up keep in mind we have no fees it's 36.9 haggle free firm plus applicable sales tax and like i said we guarantee the slide outs the rv refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp both theirs to get to operating temp only everything else is sold as is so two things you can do uh of course you know if you want to come look at it let us know you're coming we'll plug it into power and you can sit here and do your own inspection to your heart's content uh second thing you know you can see what works what doesn't so far everything i've touched works except one little light right there that i can't get to come on above the desk uh, little led lights i don't know if just the bulbs burnt light i don't know but i mean it, everything else works that i've touched in this thing so far um and you can come inspect it for yourself of course you know you gotta understand you're buying it as is the only things that we guarantee to work when you pick it up are those systems that i mentioned anything else if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's up to you to fix it or not fix it it's your rv that's how we keep our prices down and get these things moving in and out guys this way there's no delay once you paid for it with verified funds you can hook and book And if you got questions about that, about a pricing or what we cover and you need clarification or whatever, uh, call it one of my salespeople. They can explain it to you a little better than I can. 706-965-7929. Again, guys, 36-9, haggle-free firm. Doesn't matter how far you come to get it. Doesn't matter um, uh, what you're doing with it That's or how you pay for it. That's, that's the price. You know, if you want to pay cash, if you want to trade, if you want to finance, we do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. It's all the same to us, guys. It goes right in the bank. Um, so just let us know how you want to do it, and we will help you out. And, of course, you know, your second option, if you don't feel comfortable checking out, you're always more than welcome to hire a third-party inspector. Uh, there's several of them in this area, um, and you can check them out pay them to check it out for you and you know the variety of cost but again that's entirely up to you what you want to do uh honestly you know fifth wheels aren't like motor homes you don't have motors transmissions and generators and all that stuff to worry about you can anybody with common sense can usually check a towable camper out or a towable fifth wheel i mean you can walk around it as anything feel soft as floors walls ceilings refrigerator get cold water you know water work water gets hot furnace works all that stuff you, you can check all that out yourself it doesn't take a rocket science and um but again it's entirely up to you everybody's got their own comfort levels and this is what we do here to keep our prices down and uh, you know our, our whole business thing is get these things in sell them cheap get them out quick as possible and when you look out there, what's out there for this price, and you compare it to this one, there is no comparison, guys. This is a nice unit. It's uh, Montana high country. It's lightweight. It's clean. It's four seasons. This would be ideal for a permanent full-timer or for a recreational use. You know, they, you don't have to buy a six-wheel dually truck to tow. And if you got questions about it, you need help, assistance, getting the fifth wheel hitch installed in your truck, uh, any questions at all, you want to buy it, best thing to do is pick up the phone, call one of my salespeople at 706-965-7929. And, of course, always call before coming to look to make sure it's available. And um, if you're coming a long distance and this is the one you want, you're 99% you're sure you want it, you probably want to leave a deposit on it. These... That cardinal I did yesterday, already took a deposit on it. Sight unseen. And uh, this one could be the same. It's a nice unit. It's reasonably priced. If you need financing, we can help arrange that for you, or we're more than happy to work with your own bank, and you can rest assured we're not going to overcharge you for financing like other dealers do because other dealers mark interest rates up percent or two over what you got approved for because they've got all that worked out with their lenders they go through and us guys we don't you know we, we just charge you whatever the bank charges you that's it you know we got no we don't have our hand in the cookie jar when it comes to financing i mean what it is what you got to prove for is what you pay 
and we don't have upsells we don't try to cram extended warranties and gap insurance and all this stuff down your throat all that stuff guys dealers make you feel like you have to do that stuff because they've got it marked up four times dealer cost so there's no sense and uh and most of it's not worth the paper it's written on so they got everybody brainwashed oh yeah if you don't if you buy an rv you gotta buy this 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 and this to go with it you don't guys a lot of times if anything breaks on it you can fix it yourself or pay somebody to fix it for cash for a fraction of the cost of a warranty and you know warranties they always tell people warranties extended warranties you know the factory ones only one that when you buy a new one of course obviously that's a good one but and there are a couple of brand a couple of aftermarket warranty service contracts too that are not that bad most of them spend more time and trouble and money getting out of paying a claim than actually paying a claim where they only partially pay a claim and it's a gambling guys you know you pay four thousand dollars for a warranty what can you spend four grand on in this thing during that warranty period well honestly what if all the major stuff works like we check you can't spend a fraction of that guys not unless a tree falls on it or something like that and that's what you got that warranty ain't going to cover that anyway that's insurance so um like i said a lot of those warranties on towables are just you're, you're you're throwing your money away just so you you can tell everybody you got a warranty on it and that's it and that's pretty much it anyway guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it and again call for coming down smash me a thumbs up if you like the video comment share on social media and please 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 hit that subscribe button rv's a big bow if you're on facebook you can also like my facebook page as well thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold george also forgot to mention we take trade-ins too so thanks again see you soon